today we're going to be doing a rope braid. And what a rope braid is, is you can use it to get your bangs out of your face. So today on this mannequin, how I have it parted, you can do it however you want. You can have a side bang, sweat bang, or you can add it on later and use a bigger braid. You can use this technique as a smaller or larger scale. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you about Beyond Shine. And what Beyond Shine is, is it's a product from a quash. And what you can do with Beyond Shine is you can use this before you use your flat iron. And that's exactly what I did to this mannequin today. So I went ahead and I ran the Beyond Shine all over it. And I went with through my flat iron and it adds a lot of shine. And also has UVA and UVB sunscreens in it. So it's perfect for the summertime to keep your hair protected. And this product runs about $20. Okay, so to start out your rope braid, what you're going to do is you're going to get a section that's close to wherever you're starting. On this, where I'm going to start is close to the part. So, because I want the braid to kind of go over to the side. And then I may or may not hide it with some hair or keep it showing, depending on what you want to do with it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take a section. And with that first section, you're going to split it. Now with this hair, you can see that it's kind of fuzzy. It's going to be hard for me to deal with unless I use a little bit of product in there. So what's perfect to use for that is detailing cream, which is what I have right here. Detailing cream is great for when you do any braids. It's going to smooth out any flyaways or frizzes. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of that in my hand. You use about a pearl size of it amount because that's going to be plenty enough. Kind of get it in your fingers a little bit and work it through. You kind of work it through your section a little bit. And that way you have a little bit of product on your hands. So I'll go ahead and split it again because now I have all those flyaways and frizzes gone. Split it into two. So what you're going to do is you're going to cross your front section over your back section. And you can use a, whatever you feel most comfortable with. A lot of times I like to use a comb. You can use a rat tail comb or this is a highlighting comb that we use in the salon. But you can go ahead and use your fingers if you have nails that you want to pick up the hair with. You're going to pick up a section in front of that hairline, pick it up, and add it to that back section. And then you're going to go ahead and twist it over. So there's that. So you're going to repeat the same thing. Pick up your section. And you're going to cross it over your back section. The reason I like to use a comb is because I can smooth it as I'm going, but when you do it on yourself, I don't use a comb. So I'm going to go ahead and use, pick up this last section because this is going to get all the bangs or fringe out of her face. And then this is where you can decide if you want to stop it or if you want to keep going. I'm going to go ahead and keep going. That way you can kind of see what it will look like. You just keep twisting it. It's just like a two-strand braid and you're just going to pick up those sections like you would a French braid almost. And what I can do is if I just want it to kind of stop there to kind of make a little decoration of the hair, is you're going to grab your bobby pin. And with your bobby pin, the best way to go ahead and pin this is to keep your bobby pin closed. Anytime you open your bobby pin, it's going to weaken it, and it, it's made so the hair will fit in there. So keep it closed, go in at a 90 degree angle at the head, kind of go back with the bobby pin so you can grab some of the hair, and then go forward. This may need a couple of pins just to hold it, but that way that bobby pin's hidden pretty well. So you can kind of go around there and kind of hide it a little bit more, but I can let that go and see where I'm going to need a little bit more. So I'm going to need another bobby pin here to kind of secure that. <laughs> and there you have your finished rope braid. 